we're going into Hebrews chapter 11, and we're going to continue talking about faith. Uh, so we talked about Jesus Christ as it represents faith to us. So we're just going to look at examples of faith here just to learn a bit more. Still in line looking at how what was in Daniel when he made the request as to what to eat. So as to still be in compliance with the law of the Lord, right? And uh, Hebrews 11, 1 is that classical definition of faith. It says, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Important thing is the fact that faith is substance. It is the substance of something, but the key thing we start from is the fact that it is substance, meaning it is something that is tangible, or substance is something that is tangible, something you can feel, you can touch, you can hold, right? It is not the past. It is not the future. It is the present, right? It is matter. It has weight, it occupies space. Faith is tangible, right? It is not hocus focus, it's not smoke. Faith is tangible. It is tangible and is what I have for what I don't have. What I have for what I don't have. I don't have hope, hope is in the future. Once I have a thing, it's no more, it's no more hope, right? I have, I'm hoping for something in the future. So what I have that guarantees that that thing will be mine or is mine already is what we call faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So when there is no confidence, when there is no foundation, when there is no, no, no assurance, which is another word for, 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 for substance, then there is no faith. Because faith is the assurance that the thing that I'm hoping for is mine. Not will be mine, it's mine, right? It's in the future, but I have the assurance for you today. That assurance is what we call faith, right? And also the second part to faith is that it is also the evidence. What I have that shows me that what I don't see exists. Right, I don't see Jesus, never seen Jesus. But what I have that guarantees that Jesus that I have not seen and I do not see exist is what is called faith. It is what I have as evidence, the concrete evidence. Something I have in lieu of is called faith. And we'll see that as we begin to go through the chapter. Right, those two things. One, it is what I can lay hold on today that guarantees me of something I don't have today. It is what I can see, I can, I can see, which tells me about what I cannot see, right? So when we come to faith, there's what we use the word, there are two types of seeing that's involved in, in faith. There's one is called sight. The other one is called vision. Vision and faith go together. Sight and faith don't go together. Two different things, right? That's why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, I believe, it says that for we walk by faith, by vision, not by sight. 